guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. How's it going? I'm back. Hey, so thank you so much for the well wishes yesterday. I appreciate it so much. I'm feeling better today and I'm not tipsy on cough medicine. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be a divine masculine reading for March the 20th until um, we'll extend it to April 1st um, because I'm going to be doing um, extended readings uh, for patrons um, starting in April. So, oops, we'll get a nice fresh start. Okay, so um, what are we doing here? Uh, let's do a divine partnership. And I think I might have the cards upside down. So we'll do a split divine partnership using my cards. We'll pull the cards first just in case I need to stop the camera. Okay, so the Hope card, the Strength card, the um, um, Queen of Pentacles, oh nice, the 1111 card, the High Priest, the King of Wands, um, the Eight of Swords, I realize I got a lot of space here that I'm not utilizing. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> okay, and the Ace of Swords, and, or sorry, the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Okay, very nice. So from what I remember from yesterday's Twin Flame reading, um, I think you had the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Hermit, and then the Queen of Cups, and you're bringing in the Hope card into the relationship, which is very cool because we have the, the Hope card again. This isn't how you view the relationship. And at the bottom of the deck, nice, the Ten of Pentacles, awesome. Beautiful. Okay, are you able to see that all right? Okay, good. So let me put that down, and I think I'll pull one card per position for clarifiers. Okay, very good. So starting with how you view the relationship with the feminine. So with the hope card, you feel that... Um, this relationship has awakened you. You've discovered some major truths recently. The card before this is the Tower card. And so that's a sudden disruption. The illusions come down. Um, you know, you, you, you make a discovery that's life-changing. You can never go back again. Once you're awake, you're awake. And so after this, you know, tremendous um, aha moment, you are now healing from that. So the worst is over now and there's hope for the future. So you're feeling optimistic. You're feeling that um, healing can happen, you know, if there was um, some strain in the relationship, that healing can happen now and you're open to it. So let's pull one clarifier. And this also means a uh, wish coming true, wish granted. Five of Cups, that's interesting. Um, when I was shuffling earlier and I said, oh, I think this card, uh, the deck is upside down, I actually saw this card. And it, to me, it was upside down. Okay, so the Five of Cups means mourning, heartbreak, loss, a grieving, deep pain and sorrow. And it's an emotional card. So you, the masculine, um, some of you feel disconnected from the feminine. You're, you're thinking about her, you're, you know you're grieving because maybe you might have done something in the past that might have hurt her or she might have done something to you so there's 
a desire to reach out and mend this pain, whatever, um, whatever is affecting the connection, you, you feel like you want to heal it with her. You're open to it. Now, I just want to go to the overall energy. Now, it's a very positive card. The Ten of Pentacles is long-term goal manifested. So this is a tremendous amount of work being put forth over, you know, a long period of time. This is somebody who's retired, um, who's gained a great deal of wealth for themselves, and so they don't have to worry about money anymore, and they have enough money to give to their family, and they want to make sure that their, their family is set up for the future as well. So this is a very grounded energy, and it's all about home security, safety, and togetherness, you know, um, family bonds. So the 10 is a completion. You, you see this happily ever after manifested into the 3D long term. This is what your desire is going to be for the next week. You're, you're going to feel grounded. You know, this might not necessarily be something that you want to manifest. This could be how you're feeling right now. You feel like you have it all. You feel um, like the provider. You feel like you're able to, you know, be there for people. Um, offer them wisdom, guidance, and support of the family. So there are two other pentacle cards that I want to just point out. Why is that doing that? Okay, anyway. Um, so we got the Queen of Pentacles, who is in your message from your higher self. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who has achieved the Ten of Pentacles. Um, well, they're actually more at the Nine of Pentacles. So they, they built up a wealth for themselves. They feel grounded. They feel stable. Um, and they have enough money coming in that they can share with others. And so this is a motherly card. Um, this is, you know, creating a beautiful home, um, somewhere where, you know, you walk in the door and you smell cookies baking and, um, the kids are looked after and, you know, it's just this welcoming energy. So she enjoys the beauty of life and she wants to make her home comfortable and she wants to nurture and look after people in the 3D reality. So this is coming in the message from your higher self. The overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles, feeling that home um, and connectedness. So I'm just going to pull a clarifier. The Queen of Swords. So it looks to me like there might be a choice. You might be caught between two people, a karmic relationship, perhaps. I usually see this as a karmic. Um, the, the Queen of Air is somebody who is emotionally detached who is cutting, who has cutting words, who, um, you know, is the ice queen. So that is one possibility there. The other possibility is that you need to speak with this um, feminine. These two cards could represent one person. I need to stop the camera for one moment. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, this could be a combination of um you know the feminine you're seeing her um your higher self is telling you to um look at her in this view to see her stability her her willingness to give her and there's a sense that you need to to talk to her speak with her openly and honestly and come at it from um a more feminine um angle I guess you know so I'm gonna move on from this and hopefully the rest of the reading will make some sense so the other card that's a pentacle is the ace of pentacles and this is coming in your external environment so the overall energy is the 10 which is completion and when that 10 completes then it reduces back down to the ace again so a new beginning so in your environment there's an offer there's a gift being give to, given to you or offered to you which is going to provide that Ten of Pentacles um, stability in your life, long-term manifestation. So there's this, either an offer is being given to you or you're offering somebody. Oh, 
for some reason I pulled it from my older deck down here, but hey, let's go with it. Um, this card is coming up in the future, so this is King of Wands. This is somebody who's very powerful, who takes control, who is a leader. Um, they are unchained from society. They're a free spirit, right? So they want to change the world. And they want to be noticed as well. They are very outspoken and people are drawn to them. So there may be somebody in your environment who has this powerful, um, vibrant energy that is offering you something. It could be a fire sign. Here we got the earth, the air, and the fire being represented. And in the twin flame reading, the Queen of Cups showed up twice on your side. So it's kind of a something shifting. So yeah, this is there's an offer there in your environment. And you're maybe considering it. Okay, so what are you resisting is the um, chariot. So you're resisting moving forward. You're resisting taking control of your life, um, pursuing things that make you happy. But this is all about exerting your, your power and control onto the world in order to, to make something happen. And the king of wands is somebody who has no problem doing that. They're in this energy, right? They're in power all the time. And um, so it's in your resisting position, though. The Ten of Cups. So another ten. Two, uh, these, both of these tens are very po uh, positive tens. So this is a happily ever after, and that's retirement, basically. Long-term manifested goal. So the Ten of Cups um, with the Chariot, they're both water. So the Chariot is moving towards this, this dream. Um, you know, this is harmony, peace, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, and everyone's getting along. There's no fighting. There's no conflict. So there's this energy, this opportunity that is available to you, but you're resisting taking it. You're resisting pursuing it. And maybe you're, you know, there's this sense that something needs to be healed over here. And you know if you reach out and you move forward with that, it's going to bring you happiness, but you're, um, you're, you're resisting being happy, <laughs> even though you know that, you know, there's this happily ever after there that could be manifested into the 3D, you're resisting it. Okay, let's find out why. So your past position, this one's staring at me right in the face. So let's address it. The 1111 card. You have recently picked up on some synchronicities. Um, perhaps you're seeing 1111 on the clock. But something is awakening you. Something is, um, you're getting a strong sign that is undeniable. You can't ignore it because it keeps happening over and over again. And that's what happens with the 1111, right? You start seeing 11, it could be 911, 811, whatever. But you start seeing, every time you look at the clock, it's something 11. Then you start seeing double digit, digits. Then, you know, the 1111, um, seeing that, it, it seems to speed up with intensity. And there's just no way you can ignore it. You know, it's, the universe is numbers. Um, and check out vortex-based math. You can see how everything is a vortex. Everything coalesces into, you know, matter, basically. And it's all because of numbers, frequencies. So the recent past, you've discovered a truth or you've discovered your twin flame. You know who your twin flame is. And, yeah. It's confirmation that whoever you're thinking about, whoever you feel separated from, um, is the person who is your twin flame. There's that offer there to have a new beginning, to have this happily ever after, but you're resisting. Okay, so one clarifier. The Knight of Fire, this showed up with the Queen of Wands as um, a final outcome. So in the past, you pursued this connection. You felt this passion and 
you know, excitement and power welling up inside of you and you're directing your energy towards that connection. And it, you know, this realization could have came in like an explosion that um, sent you, you know, exploding forward basically to pursue it. So we, I'm feeling, you know, the tower happened in the past or just recently, you made a realization that was incredible. And so this is still in your mind and you're pursuing it. Now as a final outcome, again, you know, that Knight of Wands is showing up. So that passion, that creativity, that drive to pursue whatever this is, is very strong still. Um, so the high priestess is in your, or high priest, sorry, is in your present position, which is very cool to see after the 1111 card. This is somebody who is a spiritual leader and so is the king of wands, except for this, um, the high priest is the connection between your internal um, knowing uh, and, you know, the, the external or the collective knowing. So whatever your personal teachings are about spirituality, those are your truths. Those are things that you've discovered for yourself, right? And then as we talk to other people, we start to form, you know, philosophies and, and religions and that kind of thing. So he represents the organization of spiritual teachings. And he is able to, you know, organize that and then express it to other people. So in your present moment, you are, you've gathered a great deal of wisdom um, about this spiritual journey, about the Twin Flame connection. And you feel very powerful and you feel like you want to share that wisdom with other people. You want to tell people how you feel, what you've discovered and, you know, and bring people together. So this card is also about your vibe tribe as well. People that you vibe with, people that are on the same frequency as you. And when you're around people like that, it, you feel like you're at home, you feel relaxed in that you can express yourself, right? Just like this twin flame community. It's the same kind of feeling. Um, when you're around other people, when you can express yourself, it awakens you even faster, right? So you've made some major discoveries. You're moving from a knight to a king in the future. So you're taking control of your power um, to overcome something or to make changes in the world I'm seeing this as a a major moment for a lot of masculines out there. Um, you want to be, you want to help people or help the world is what I'm really feeling strongly. There's something long term that is pushing you, that's driving you, it's there, it's motivating you. You just need to grab a hold of those reins and take control and go. And so we got these beautiful cards of control right this is like a an arrow a flaming arrow and the chariot you know you're in this controlled boat i got the a surfboard you're controlling the board through the vortex but there's this control and focus right so you were focused in the past and but you're resisting moving forward still and this has to do with something you want to pursue that you feel will leave your mark on the world or help people in the broader, broader aspect. Okay, so one clarifier. Wow, a grand awakening card, judgment. So this is realizing your entire life is just an illusion, just a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So, you know, whenever somebody gets upset in my environment with me, or or whatever I look at this from you know I, I take myself out of the situation completely and I can see how people are acting out certain roles and I can see how you know issues from their past are making them act a certain way and react a certain way right and so that's what I what I'm wanted to show here is that Everything that you see that's going on out there is actually a projection of what's going on internally. So whatever thoughts are that you're having in your mind 
about a person, you're, you've created all of that. We can't see in your mind. You know, that, that's all stuff that's happening with you. Um, yeah, so you can detach yourself from that. You can awaken from it. And so here we got him, the masculine, you are reevaluating your life. You're, you're making some major realizations. And this card also means that you make it, you need to make a judgment call. You need to make a decision, but this decision is coming from an, a highly illuminated position. Okay. We'll leave that one. So the message from the universe, masculine, it's the eight of swords. You need to release yourself from that mental prison. And we can see that release happening here. Your, your crown chakra is opening up. You are seeing how whatever these bars are that's holding you back is just an illusion. And so, but it is an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So somebody is making you feel this way. And it could be that queen of swords. There's a motherly energy there. Now this could be a combination, right? Um, the Queen of Swords karmic could be the mother, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm, I'm feeling maybe there's a choice, um, a karmic partner, somebody standing in the way, or maybe this, you know, there's two sides to this person's face. You think they are one way, but in reality, they're another two faced. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, these are all thoughts in your own mind, and you're waking up to it, and the universe is encouraging you to take that key and let yourself out of that prison. Become that powerhouse. Okay, so one clarifier is Seven of Swords. This was the overall energy for the Twin Flame reading. Seven of Swords. Not being able to trust. So, this feeling that somebody's going to stab you in the back, betray you, that's what's imprisoning you. Right, and again, it's all mental. Okay, so what do you fear? You fear the Four of Cups. You fear that this person, or whatever it is that you want to pursue, is going to turn their back on you, is going to reject you, abandon you. Um, the Four of Cups is... Um, feeling like maybe you missed an opportunity. This is also a longing card. Maybe too much time has passed and you feel that you know, there's too much water under the bridge. So yeah, this is a thing that you fear. This is the stopping factor right here. This is what you need to overcome. This is what's causing you the heartbreak. Right? We got the four to the five of cups there. Okay. The Nine of Cups. Wow. So Nine, Ten of Cups. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfilled. It's a major sense of satisfaction and completion. Um, but it's also celebration, having a family and friends around you. You're going out to restaurants. You're, you know, you're just doing fun things. Right? And so there's a sense of this person looking out and seeing times that were happy and feeling you want to get back to that you want to celebrate life you want to feel grounded you want to feel emotionally happy right and and maybe you're afraid that that's that's slipping away right there there was this emotional connection, twin flame connection in the past that was undeniable to you and you're realizing maybe you, I don't know, you, you want to pursue it, you want to shift things around, you want to, you want to manifest that long-term goal in your life and like I said, you're, you're being encouraged by the universe to let yourself out of that prison, say the things that need to, need to be said. Um, you know, you can feel who is home if it is a karmic relationship that you're in. You can feel who's home, who is projecting that warm, inviting energy, who wants to look after you, who, who is open, who shares their life with you, who is being cold, cut off, who is um, being the ice queen, who is, who is saying cutting words, 
Who is keeping you in that mental prison? All right, so let me pull one card, and so we'll pull it from Wisdom of the Oracle by Call It Bear and Read. So this will be the final message. From, whoa, okay, this one jumped out. Nice, regeneration. So this is growth, um, healing, second chances. So I was on the right track. There's a sense that you want to make amends with somebody. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is pull one card for the King of Wands here. So let's do that. So there's that Six of Swords. This card was in the past. Oh my gosh, hold on. Sorry about that. So this card was the coming up in your past position for the Twin Flame. So what I was feeling here is like, a, you know, there was a separation um, in order to heal because it came with the Hope card as well. And so in the future you are taking control of your life and releasing yourself from that mental state and becoming powerful, right? Um, pursuing or taking action on this manifesting happiness and peace on earth <laughs> for everyone, basically. Okay, let me read the message from the universe. I've never had that kind of message before that was so, you know, all-encompassing, like this major vision for the masculine. It's like they want to heal the earth. Okay, so rebirth, second chances, new opportunities, the oracle message. You know what I'm, well, I want, I meant to read the relationship message, so. Um, the world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only an illusion. There is life after death, love after, er, love after loss, and in this moment you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Right, so you're feeling a loss, you're feeling, um, you know, that there is a second chance here and pursue it. I mean, this is what the universe is saying to you. Their, their love is, will reach out to meet you. Okay, so I do hope that you enjoyed this. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. All right. I love you guys. Cheers.